Hello everybody. It's three o'clock and you're so welcome to today's Room Junkie Show. Let me just pop in my earphones. Well, the sun is shining beautifully and brightly here in Donegal. Um, so it's a very fortuitous day to have a topic like dopamine interiors, dopamine decor. Uh, I do hope that some of you will be able to pop in and join me. And hang on. Yes, somebody's there. Let me know where you are. And hopefully the sun is shining just as brightly on you as it is here. Um, I am feeling particularly happy and buoyant today because today is my son Jack's birthday and birthdays are very special in our house and because the other two boys are away it's so wonderful to be able to celebrate a birthday with one of them um, physically here so we're actually going to go out for dinner this evening we're going to go down to the boathouse restaurant in red castle and it's going to be the most gorgeous evening for it because it's literally on the water you can hear the water lapping to be honest as you're there and it's just beautiful uh, it's a panoramic vista of um gorgeous water so I'm um, really looking forward to that so good few people there so say hello tell me where you are um, hopefully if the sun is shining in Donegal uh, it's shining with you too I mean to be honest this morning I opened all the doors and windows as I always do when the sun is shining and today was no exception it was just fabulous so somebody's sending me a love heart and if anybody else will send me a little love heart or a little like or a thumbs up or something that's actually really good because then it means that Facebook will show the video to other people um, so I picked today's topic particularly because it fascinates me. Um, I'm going to hang on a little bit just for a few more people to come in, but maybe you're all out walking and out in the sun and doing things in the sun. And I hope you are. And listen, if you're catching in on the replay, just treat this as if it's live. If you've got a question, ask it. Ah, Kavina is saying happy birthday, Jack. She's in the car heading to Dublin. Okay, well, at least it's a nice day for the drive, Kavina. Good luck with your trip. Um, so dopamine decor, we all know what dopamine dressing is. Dopamine dressing has definitely been a thing in fashion um, over the last 12 months or more, where if you look in the shops, you see colors that have been influenced um, by psychology and by color psychologists. Uh, Kavina saying, excuse the spelling, it's okay, you're going over the bumps, Kavina, it's all right, we're just delighted you're here. And say hello to Will too, if he's driving. Um, Kavina is one of my ace students on the masterclass. In fact, Kavina and uh, her husband, Will, are my ace couple students on the masterclass. They have a big project in front of them. So exciting days in front of the Macaulay's. Um, but yeah, dopamine. Colour psychology fascinates me. It was one topic and module, and it was a big meaty one when I was studying interior design that I absolutely loved. And I can remember the project that I had to do actually um, at the end of that module, it was I had to design a hotel. It was a ten-bedroom hotel, and I had to use color psychology to um, affect the different rooms. I remember I did the foyer, uh, which was very warm and inviting. I did the dining room, which was red and gold. Um, you know, I did the bedrooms, and each of the bedrooms had a different color scheme, which affected a different feeling in that room. Color psychology works. There's no doubt about it. Some colors will uplift your mood. Um, association with colors is very relevant as well because there are some colors that you associate perhaps with a time maybe when you weren't feeling great you you know you mightn't have been in a happy place in your life maybe somebody was sick uh, for me it's my school uniform I have a problem with the color the bottle green color a particular color that we had in my boarding school uh, and I loved school, but for some reason I do have a problem with that colour and when I'm picking colours for other people I need to be very mindful of that and get over my own hang-ups about the colour green. Uh, hello from Kerry. Well, I'm sure the sun is shining beautifully in Kerry if it's shining up here. So, but dopamine dressing is a thing. So in the shops you'll find, look, here's a prime example. Can you see my little Don Stores dress, which I love actually, I have to say. It's got that pink and orange and pink and orange is a fabulous feel-good combination. I mean, I pair this with mad orange boots and I love it. Um, and this dress puts me in good humor every time I put it on. But in the shops you will find the pinks, the oranges, lime greens, um, vibrant blues, um, 
purples and, 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 and lilacs and those colours, um, which definitely, definitely boost your mood completely. And I do believe that the use of colour in your home will always affect your mood and affect it in a very good way. And I'm, you've heard me say this before, but I'm mindful of using your colour in your accents when you can. Keep your background neutrals, keep your walls neutrals, keep them nice and warm. We talked about picking, like if you've got a north facing space, a few weeks ago I talked about what colours you should put into a north facing space, what colours you should put on the walls to make sure that you make the very, very best of your space. It's very easy in a south facing space to have a really good, uplifting, buoyant ambience going on in your room. It just happens naturally. Sun is coming, shining in here on me. Two hours ago, it was like a dungeon in here because I had no sunshine. So when that shine, sunshine comes in, it does uplift you. So in a south-facing space, you're getting that anyway, so it's making you happy. So what you can do is choose. And if anybody hasn't got that list of what colors to put in a north-facing space, send a message in here and I will get it to you. Another thing that some people wanted, I put together a list and a 10-step plan if you're affecting any interior design in your home or thinking of decorating a room or taking on a project it's my 10 steps that you'll find here as well um, and, and there's a little i think at the top of the page you will find an opt-in all you have to do is opt into my vip mailing list and you will get that in fact you'll get the paint colors as well but they're useful things to have there's lots of other useful things to have too but currently they're two very useful things that i've put together and bear in mind that i spent seven hours picking those paints to put into the north south east and west facing spaces and already lots of people um, are finding it most beneficial. I know that Trina Hayes Finn has a north facing hall and on Saturday we picked Fleetwood paint for her and her hall looks amazing and will never ever feel cold or drab or gloomy or anything again simply because of the paint colour that she has put on the walls. Um, okay so when you're picking your accent colours do have them in your cushions, your rugs, your artwork, your candles, your throws the movable feasts, you know, the things that do bring an injection of energy and fun and vibrancy into your home. And in your home, I do actually recommend that you use bright colors. I love fuchsia pink. I love this orange. I love the pink and orange combination together. I actually really, really do. It's a bit on trend at the minute, but that doesn't worry me. Fuchsia was on trend maybe two years ago. I still use it. It's probably my signature color because I just love it. It definitely has an effect on me. I walk into my hall, and I see the fuchsia pink shade on a lamp, a real fun, funky lamp that works really, really well with this more classical hall, uh, but it puts a smile on my face. Why? Because I love the colour. If that colour was a really deep, or a really drab green or an insipid yellow or a sickly yellow, it wouldn't have the same effect on me. It would actually probably pull me down as I walked into the hall. Instead, the pink gives me that lift, raises my energy, and puts a smile on my face. And you know what? On the other um, console table, I've got a gorgeous photograph of my mother smiling. And that puts me in good humor too every time I walk into the hall. So just be mindful of this. There are ways that you can inject that. Like dopamine is a happy hormone. It's a feel-good hormone. It's a hormone. Like exercise gives it to you. Eating chocolate gives it to you. So why not allow color to give it to you as well? Uh, it's so easy. So, so easy. Um, so having the right colors, even these pink flowers behind me, they put me in good form because... I love that pink and blue combination. And anything that puts a smile on your face, do it. And if you're not a vibrant, like the colors, the vibrant colors that would make you feel good immediately are the fuchsia pinks, vibrant yellows, oranges, um, some of the greens and blues. These colors will all raise your energy and make you feel happy. But they don't have to be the strong versions of these colors. You can actually have more muted colors as well. And in fact, in fashion, fashion designers have been doing this quite a bit. You've got colors like violet. You've definitely got the pink and orange combination. And you've got, but pink is a color that has come to the forefront in interiors. And I don't know why pink has been out of vogue for so long, because I think it's going to stay. I think particularly that blush pink is going to stay. Because just think about it, the dopamine effect doesn't just have to uplift your mood and cause joy, which it does, but it can also cause contentment and calm. And contentment and calm is really, really important in your home as well, obviously. Um, okay, let me see. I think this, some people are trying to get their messages in and I can't get them in, but they might come in eventually. Um, so don't just think vibrant, happy, you know, upbeat, 
high vibe colors. Think more muted, soft, calm, pinks, blushes, the soft blues, the soft greens, even some of the soft yellows, not the sickly acid yellows, but the nice warm yellows, particularly in a north facing space. You might know this and you might never have thought of it, but those colors in a north facing space actually dilute, they do something to the light that north facing light which is a bit gloomy and create this warmness that is positive conversely in a southern space if you're flooded with light the yellow seems to intensify with the light so it's not always the best choice there um, but experiment with what you like what colors tell me what colors what co i want to ask you now answer me this what color puts you in good humor what's your feel good color for me it's definitely pink and you know it's only in the last couple of years that i've discovered this love affair with pink. I love pink. I wear it a lot. Absolutely love it. Um, you know, as a mother of three sons, there wasn't much pink in the house when they were growing up. But I do love it. And, you know, the older I get, the more I just love wearing it. I'd say most of my dresses had a funny one yesterday. Went out feeling a million bucks in my favorite. Actually, it's a twin of this dress. Uh, it's But it's really, really bright pink. And I opened a tester pot of paint. And guess what I did? I went all over myself so I had to go back home and you know the gas thing is I got that paint out it was um a matte emulsion thank god and I just soaked it and I did put some vanish on the dress and threw it into the washing machine and yeah happy days the, dr the dress will live another day um, ah here's an interesting one i like what i'm seeing here mary casterly saying pink is mine also there is something about pink and you know i've put pink um photographs that I use an awful lot is a house that I designed about three years ago. It was a really dark, dark house that was about 20 odd years old when I got my hands on it. Dark mahogany everywhere, very poor light coming in. Um, a house that definitely the lights were on from six, seven o'clock in the morning. And um, in this house, it's a family house, mum, dad, three teenagers, two boys and a girl, so three men in this house. And I actually did use fuchsia pink as an accent colour in their kitchen, come living room, come dining area. And it worked beautifully. It's just gorgeous. In fact, I was back there taking photographs not that long ago, well, before Christmas. And A, I was delighted to see the house looks exactly the same as it did three years ago. Because you know that I do promote longevity and design. When you decide on design for your living room, your kitchen, your bathroom, your bedroom, you know, you're investing money in this and you don't want to be doing it frequently. So, I, you know, that's why I want to show you how to have longevity in your design, how to make your design timeless um, so that it's not going to be boring. It's going to be gorgeous and also to have it in a way that you can have a style or a design that you can evolve and, and maybe change up the accent colors if you wish. And sometimes you don't need to because if something is perfect for you let me tell you it'll be perfect for you for a very very long time in fact when i'm working with people i say if you're in any doubt at all if you're picking something and you're in any doubt if you don't love it the way i did when i, I bought this dress i bought this dress when i was buying grocery shop this is a 30 euro dress from duns i just picked it up and i took it home and i thought oh gosh well a, i thought it was going to be too small for me it wasn't um and then i thought nah and i put it on <laughs> i love it and then i ordered the pink one as well so yeah what you love, you will always love. What you love will actually transmute trends. I am never trend-led. If I happen to like the trends that are in vogue, great. And if I love a trend, I will carry that trend. I'll make it my own trend and I'll have it forever because I love it. So you need to love everything. You need that warm, buzzy, fuzzy feeling. Not like, not it'll do, but I love it. I absolutely love it. It's like a sunshiny day. It just brings me up. And in your home, that's what I want. And this dopamine effect picking the dopamine colors, the colors that make you feel good. And you won't like all of them. There's about five of them. So I think the dopamine colors are red, there's green, blue, orange, and there's pink, yellow, that's six. Red and pink probably fall into the same family. They're the dopamine colors. So you're going to use variations of those. Lots of people coming in, so hello to everybody. Um, but just remember that, the feel good, happy colors. And you don't, this, don't even worry about the science. It's how you feel, how they make you feel. This is your home, your space. I want it to be your happy space. And I want it to be your calm space. I want it to be your contented, joyful space. Your retreat is home. So remember these colours. So when you're out and about, actually yesterday I was with Lyons and Dunn stores and I, honestly I was blown away by some of the 
we picked up, we filled a trolley full of gorgeous lamps and light shades and bedding. Um, what else? Go they have gorgeous candles, beautiful colours, absolutely gorgeous colours. Um, so if you feel like your room needs a refresh, don't be afraid to go to the chain stores to pick up your accessories. I often do. You will find really good quality accessories in your easy living, in Dunn stores, in Ticket Max, in Next. You know, all these places. You'll pick up something that will give you a lovely boost of positive energy. Duck Egg Blue, fabulous. Yes, Duck Egg Blue is, again, it's a colour that was in trend. A couple of years ago, there was the teals and the duck eggs. Um, I think the duck eggs will endure more than the teals because there's a subtlety with them. And the duck eggs, you can marry with the greys, you can marry with pinks, you can marry with blush, you can marry with the soft yellows, you can marry with creams. You know, it's a gorgeous colour. And it's definitely a colour that sort of, it's a colour that reminds me of New England homes. That, you know, that duck egg blue and cream or duck egg blue and white. Blue and white is such a timeless dateless color combination so really good duck egg a very very good color choice because that will give you the calmness and the contentment but it will also give you the feel good factor as well uh, so anybody else tell me what your colors are because i'm curious i'm just curious to know um because all of us will like different colors and that's what it's all about that's what it's all about um sorry lights just coming in there yeah, so big excitement here. It's Jack's birthday and Jack and I are heading off to Spain on Tuesday evening for a couple of days. We are going to, um, oh God, will I get this right? Almanaca. Almanaca, it's, it's um, in Granada geographically, but it's, on the, it's just on the border of Costa del Sol. It's 15 minutes from Nerca. So we are looking forward to that little dose of sunshine and um, a couple of days chill and it's his birthday and we're heading off to the boathouse this evening so that's something lovely to look forward to absolutely lovely so i have lots to look forward to at the moment uh you know i'm feeling great and it's gas i'm heading to spain on tuesday and it's going to be the first time that i've been on holidays where i haven't been drinking alcohol because some of you know but in fact today's my day 80 because i know because i'd written it down somewhere um 80 days ago i thought you know something something is triggering my ibs i've been so good with the diet but there's something else and I thought, could it be alcohol? And I had said it to my consultant and he said, okay, and life's too short, you don't have to give it up. So I thought, you know what, I'll give it up and see how we go. <laughs> I can't believe this because trust me, I, lo I love a glass of champagne, I love a glass of wine, um, and I haven't had a sip. I've been on spa breaks <laughs> with the girls, I've been away with Neil, I've been, you know, and this is the first holiday and it's mad no drink but my skin is better I'm sleeping better my energy is better but most importantly yesterday was IBS awareness day my IBS is actually really under control and in fact over Easter I was so bold I had loads of chocolate like tons and tons and tons of chocolate milk chocolate not just the 70% dark chocolate that I had been allowing myself and I've been doing fine so it's great so I'm, I'm delighted so change change lifestyle for me change life but I'm doing fine Ah, uh, Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Delighted Sandra's come in. Sandra has joined my masterclass and we're going to kick off on Monday. Um, I love orange. I have orange carpet on my stairs. It makes me happy every time I open the front door. And that is exactly what I'm talking about. Catherine, I haven't forgotten about you in your hall. Catherine, I'm all for blues and whites. Yes, you love that lovely classic look. But Sandra, I love the injection of fun there. Um, orange is a great color in our old house. I had this huge, big round, like a six or eight person probably eight person sofa because here i've had to split it in two massive and it's down to a big round window and i picked orange as my accent there and sanderson fabric that had a bit of orange in it and then i had an orange rug and orange cushions and you know it sounds too much but it's not you know if you dilute it down so there's something about that color it definitely well it's been scientifically proven um orange will actually raise your blood pressure a little bit but in a good way it raises your energy so yeah Oh, Sandra, I'm delighted you're in. Really, really happy. Now, I will say, guys, the Masterclass is kicking off again next week on Monday. And uh, we'll just have an orientation on Monday and then we'll get stuck in. And because this is the first time all year that I have opened it up. So I'm very excited about this. And lots, lots of people have joined in. People have, so if you've been on the fence, you know, if you've been thinking, this is a year where I need to really up my knowledge and what i'm going to say to you is if you've enjoyed the facebook lives over the last two years if you've enjoyed the fun that we've had here 
if you can imagine, Catherine, you tell me what you think, but if you can imagine having that on speed and multiply it by 100%, that's what you get in the masterclass. You know, all the modules cover everything in a very fun way. I show you, teach you everything. Honestly, no holds barred. Everything I know, you get to know in this masterclass um, over the eight modules. And I have actually, or I am going to be adding in a ninth module that is quite specific to this tranche because we're living in a different landscape. Um, you know, it is more expensive to do things in our home. It is more expensive to build. You know, costs have increased. The availability of good, professional, competent, excellent tradespeople is more limited. Lead times are longer. So I've got a whole module now um, devoted to what you do if you are building or renovating and, and doing something that you, you know, I, I want to, you know, I'm not worried about this. There are ways around this. So that's part of the, the masterclass as well. So I'm really excited. But the other two, three days ago, I offered a bonus because I felt like it. Uh, and I knew that some people need a little bit of hand holding to get them started, just to get their confidence going. And once their confidence gets going, they fly. And they're my best students, you know. Uh, Marina McLaughlin, you're one of those girls. There's loads of you, but, you know, who, who weren't that sure to start off with. But my God, you've turned out to be a pro at the end. So I offered a one to one, um, 45 minute one to one design consultation with me as a bonus that you get for free along with the masterclass. And that is worth 250 euro, which almost negates the cost of the masterclass anyway. And I kept the three payment plan up as well to make it affordable. Um, but a lot of people yesterday could have cried. I got about six, seven, maybe more emails coming through saying, Oh, Anne, I'm sorry between one thing and the other and kids and leaving cert and doing this and doing that and sickness. I missed the bonus, so I'm actually going to, an email went out to my newsletter and I'm sending it, saying it to you guys here as well. If anybody wants to do the masterclass, if you enroll over the next 24 hours, it's actually more than 24 hours, it's up until midnight tomorrow night, you can get that bonus as well. It's just for you guys, but after tomorrow night, it will be gone. Now you can still join up over the weekend, you can join up until Monday, but if you want the bonus, you do it before tomorrow and the payment plan makes it affordable. Um, so I'm so excited. It's just, every time I do it, I improve it. So this time for, I've said it to the girls joining in, it's a really good time to start because there's even more happening. Um, I have lots of ideas uh, and more that I want to do within. There's actually a, a private Facebook group that belongs to the masterclass. That's where people have access to me. Uh, and you know, the other day I actually got a phone call from Catherine who uh, did the very first masterclass and she was in a tile shop in Grange in Sligo and um, we went through our tiles. That's a backup you get. Sorry, my voice is going croaky. I don't know why, <clears throat> excuse me. But that's a backup you get. I'm there for you. So even if you're not confident, I give you the knowledge and then the two of us together will work together to give you the confidence. It's the only way that I can help many of you. Otherwise, I can just work with a couple of people, handful of people every year, one-to-one. Um, -one. But this way, you know, you can get me at a very affordable price. And But you get just the same amount of energy and expertise and knowledge. And it's just, I say it's my fourth child and this one's a girl and she wears a pink dress so it's um yeah an exciting time it's a really lovely time to start and a bit of news too uh, that won't make much it's not news to you guys but it's big news to me my course is actually going up on the kajabi platform it's actually been developed at the minute when that goes up um everybody who's already enrolled will get it and it's just going to bring it to a whole different level and I'm so excited about that so um so yeah so if you know anybody building renovating decorating or just interested in interior design and really want to improve their game tell them about the masterclass I'll pop a link here but if you're on my mailing list you'll have got a link as well and the bonus that free consultation which is valuable it's worth 250 euro that's completely free um, for anybody who enrolls between now and tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Now, I have a few questions coming in. Hi Anne, I'm getting the island Blue Hague in Farron Ball, which I love, I adore Blue Hague. Um, now hang on, this is, a mis this is a misspelling here with Jitney, sorry. Uh, hang on. Hi Anne, I'm getting the island Blue Hague in Farron Ball with Jitney. Jitney is not a Farron Ball colour, so that's your predictive text playing up on you. On the main units, what colour would you suggest on walls? This kitchen is north but open plan, but loads of light coming from the south. Can I get the paint list and design list? Absolutely. I'd rather send you the paint list and design list. Let you work with that um, rather than guessing without seeing your space. And there's definitely not 
a color called Jitney, but that's not you, that you typed it in a predictive text on your phone just changed it. So absolutely, if you're coming in as a Facebook user, but I think when I finish the video, I will see who it is and if, and I'll try and say, I, you know, I'll reply to this message. If I can't see who it is, I'll get make sure that you actually get in touch with me and we find that because that list will help you. Lots of people are, have north facing spaces with a bit of southern light coming in, which makes it a little bit different. But yes, that covers all of that. Um, hi, Anne Tui. Loved your challenge last week. I hope you're having a really lovely holiday. Well, I've been working like a demon, but um, I'm heading off for dinner with Neil and Jack now this evening and then Jack and I are heading off to Spain for a couple of days next week so I am really really looking forward to that um that's going to be lovely and it's just a little bit of it you know I've always said it's always lovely to do something with each of three boys um to do something individually I think we've all Neil and I have always tried to do that to take one of them and do something with them even if it's just going out for lunch or dinner or coffee or whatever but just that one-to-one -one, really important Richard is in Australia I cannot do anything with him at the moment except over a video call and Brian is flat out in the Netherlands and um, we had hoped that he might join us next week but it's actually there on um, midterm break in the Netherlands and his flights were ridiculously expensive and it's just the times weren't working out he was getting into Balaga too late so it's not going to happen but uh, but I'm really looking forward to my time away so I don't know who that is but again I'll find out who that is but I'm glad you love the challenge it's the first time I've done a challenge and I, it's not the first it's not the last time um, I was amazed I set up a private little group for the challenge and in fact if anybody is looking in here on the room junkie page and you haven't been in the challenge do find it because or send me a message because that the three days were really valuable lots of people got great um, value out of it and remember if you got that much good out of the challenge think what good you'd get out of the full master class it would just blow your head away it's it's amazing uh hi nula nula did you enjoy your master class nula's always busy 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 um oh this is i'm delighted to hear this again don't know who this is uh she said you're brilliant Anne. Uh, you know what i'm not <laughs> i'm not but yeah yeah thank you thank you uh, I signed up last year. Is it okay if I join the masterclass this time around? Yes, absolutely. And if anybody, quite a few, Catherine did, um, Catherine Martin did, lots of the girls, Moya Dixon, lots of the girls have joined up again. Because, you know, last year when you did it, you probably had a project and you did that project. So if you do it again, it's like any time you learn and it's going to be a bit different this time so you're going to learn more it's like people who did the masterclass did the challenge last week and learned from the challenge and that was only three short days so oh please do join up again and a few people have mislaid their um login code so if you're missing your login code i actually sent two people sent Bree Jinx and sarah ross their codes yesterday um and again when it goes up in Kajabi, that's all going to be different and you'll have different logins, but you'll get all of that. It just makes it a lot easier uh, and your login code will be much easier to get into. But for the moment, I will send it to you. If you can't find your code, you just let me know and I will happily. But it's a brilliant idea. Lots of people have been redoing it and I would encourage you to redo it for sure. Because trust me, if you think you learned a lot the last time, you'll learn even more this time because I have plans to, yeah, just to add and add and add. Um, because it's like... Two years ago or whenever I set up the first masterclass, we weren't living through the times that we're living in. You know, uh, now things are different and there are challenges, as anybody knows, if you're building, redecorating. Listen, there's even challenges doing your grocery shopping. I am desperate for noticing prices. I noticed the other day I did a grocery shopping and there wasn't even one bottle of wine in the shopping. And I was a bit shocked. I thought, gosh, that's a lot um, for what I got. So yes, that's why the ninth module the new module, which hasn't gone up there yet. Um, and I've taken the eighth module down as well, the staging your home, because I want to rejig and revamp that. So anybody who has joined and enrolled this week, you will have got module one to seven already. I would urge you not to run through them just yet. By all means, start with um, the first module, which is all about learning your own style, developing your own style, knowing your own style. And then I'll work this through you week by week by week. And then I will add module eight, which is how to stage your home, how to finish off a room. A lot of people struggle with that, but I don't want to give you that first until you get everything else. And then I'm also going to give you the ninth module, which is the bonus module, which is just the one about how to cope with the challenges. 
you know, the practical challenges, the economical challenges, the logistical challenges that we're actually facing at the moment. Okay, so I am going to go and get myself all ready. Uh, traffic is horrendous for anybody in Leonard County watching. Oh my goodness, they're resurfacing roads and the traffic, I've never seen anything like it. It's just gridlocked and stopped. So, um, but the sun is shining, so that's something to be thankful for and I am particularly thankful today. So we're going to go and have a lovely evening and the last time I was in Red Castle in the boathouse, to be honest, I told them about my food allergies, which are pretty horrendous and very challenging. And I was shocked by what that chef, the chef said, look, tell me what you can eat. I told him and I was amazed. I mean, he made me calamari, like calamari that I've never had in Italy. It was that good. It was amazing. Amazing. So I'm so looking forward to that. Um, and somebody's telling me to enjoy. I will. I will enjoy. And remember, don't forget, the bonus for the masterclass is valid for another 24 hours. And thank you to you people who, you know, had, had the gumption to say, I missed it. What can you do? So I've done that. I can't extend it beyond 12 midnight tomorrow. So if you're on the fence, if you're half thinking of um, doing it, if you're, have you been really thinking about doing it? I would urge you to do it, you know, and do it on the payment plan because that will ease the financial burden and make it easier for you. You'll get all of the, you'll get the whole course now. Um, there's trust involved here. I, you know, nobody has ever defaulted and it just makes it easier, you know, when there's so many outgoings. Um, so I am excited and this has given me a gist as well. So I'll be in Spain next week. Um, but anybody who is, has joined already, there will be an orientation on Monday, which I'll send you an email about today or tomorrow and uh, we'll just take it from there okay so if you've got friends or family or anybody that you know who you think would seriously would benefit um and from the master class and don't just take it from me i have been humbled and delighted by the feedback that i've got i actually put some of them up on the um newsletter today feedback that i got about the master class and almost 200 women have done it one man only one guy is building a house in calvin um everybody else has been female that's great um but i have been humbled and delighted by your feedback it's been brilliant and there was one one feedback that i can't find <laughs> it was from rosari and she had said something about goddess there was goddess in it and i loved it and i can't find it i don't know where it is but that's okay um we can dream we can all dream of being a goddess can't we so listen have a lovely evening get out and enjoy that sunshine wherever you are do consider the dopamine effect in your clothes but particularly in your home chain stores find what your heart leads you to find the colors that make you happy um, you know, and we will all love different colors. It's not the same color for everybody. There's no one size fits all, but it's all about the feel good. That, you know, if you go for a walk or a run and you're, you get that hit of dopamine or you eat a chocolate Easter egg, you get it as well. Um, that really good feeling. So that's what I want you to get from your color. So transmit the dopamine from fashion, from your clothes into your homes and watch that lovely dopamine, contentment, joyous, gorgeous effect and it will just look at it'll just be happier and that's all I want you to be happy in your home and I want to have gorgeous happy homes so if you've ever made a mistake in your home or you struggle or you don't know where to start or you don't know where to finish or you get stuck in the middle check out that masterclass because I can promise it's all you might need absolutely and I'm available to you that is the secret sauce I'm available every day if you're stuck or if you're wavering or um, just like the girl with the faro ball colors is not sure if you were in that master class you could have sent me your kitchen and I would have been able to tell you exactly what to get so listen have a gorgeous evening I'm going to go and enjoy a birthday cake and lots of lovely food and I'll see you next week from sunny Spania over and out stay safe stay fabulous enjoy that sunshine and embrace your dopamine color